Uh, welcome to this edition of Straight Talk. I am joined by Union Cabinet Minister Nitin Gadkari, who is in charge of MSME and surface transport. So let me begin this edition by asking you, how does India balance the value of life with economic growth? Both are important. So what should India do to save life and ensure that the livelihood remains? First of all, we are fighting war against Corona. But not only we are fighting the war, the whole world is facing this war. The USA, UK, France, Germany, Italy, Spain, they are all also facing this problem. So we need to fight against Corona at the same time, we need to fight against economic war. That is very important. Because uh, the lockdown, if we continue, it is, it is going to create a lot of problems and complications. So that is the reason that now all national highways are open. So the 65 to 70 percent of goods traffic is on national highway. At the same time, our ports are open, export and import is started. And in the many area, actually, the business has already started. Traders have opened their shops and also the industry is also open. The national highway work, which is already we have started. And uh, it is very important because the poor people, if they don't have employment, then it will be it created a problem for law and order. So it is a very complex situation. Some of the labor, migrant labor, they want to go their home. But at the same time, we need to take the preventive measures that with them, if they are going to their state, they can take corona with them. So we have to protect them. That is also equally important. By guiding principle of government, that is, first, mask is mandatory. Second is maintain the distance more than one meter between two persons. And at the same time, every time in the when you enter into your office or house, you have to wash your hand by sanitizer. So these are very important things. And the industry, there we have to take the preventive measures that food and shelter, there will be no uh, spreading of coronavirus. That is very important. Now the world is searching for the uh, vaccine for corona and we need some uh, testing that is the testing of corona is very important and for that purpose we are we need to have a new methodology and uh, total uh, whole in the world now the people are working on this thing if we get a vaccine it is going to resolve the problem and I feel that in due course of time we will be in position to resolve all this issue so we are we need to uh, learn to when there is a lockdown, we we have to learn how we can uh, make uh, our routine, uh, all the thing which you are routines practices. We have to continue that by which uh, we have to find out the solution and we have to learn in lockdown by this type of life system. So various states are behaving in ad hoc manner. What should India do to resolve this issue because we are a federal country and states also have a local standi when it comes to labor? Sir, uh, actually, this is a complex issue. But now we have already established a good coordination, cooperation and communication. Somewhere there are some problems, but we need to uh, resolve all this problem. And uh, uh, there are problems, I accept it. So in a situation, we need cooperation, coordination, is very important this time this is not the time for quarrel this is not the time for thinking on the line of caste creed sex party and politics we are all are united and we need to fight with this war that is very important and that spirit is very important for the country and i am confident that we are definitely going to win this war so what are you doing to save the medium and small scale industries in India? They constitute the backbone of the Indian economy and MSMEs contribute 29% of the Indian GDP. Yes, MSME is the backbone of Indian economy. The 29% of the GDP is coming from MSME. 48% of the export is from MSME. And up till now, MSME create 11 crore jobs. The small service sector and they are in which I give an answer in parliament that up to March 8 we have restructured 6 lakh MSMEs and now we increase the limit up to 31st December so I am confident that again 25 lakh MSME will be restructured 
at the same time 20% capital is increased working capital is increased then defer payment 3 month for all type of scooter uh, car loan housing loan and industrial loan then a uh, refund of gst and income tax we are taking already measures that he, as early as possible should go to msme again uh, we are now uh, have interaction with all type of msme associations and chamber of commerce on the basis of that we have already analyzed the thing and prepared our recommendation to the finance ministry we have given them we are expecting as early as possible something will be declared by so any package from the government actually we need integrated vision one side we need to implement lockdown it is very important because we sh there should be a possibility of spreading of corona virus so it is really a difficult situation where we need to take the preventive measures and that is the reason that uh, uh, mask is mandatory we need to wash every time our hands with sanitizer and that maintaining distance between two person more than one meter at the same time when we want to start industry we need to take the care of laborers particularly shelter and food where corona should not spread and at the same time by taking preventive measure we need to start our routine work now this is the time that we need to understand to learn the art of uh, living uh, in corona and to how to uh, Uh, understand the problem. So, the life approach by considering Corona problem, and that is the time that country is learning. And definitely, we are really competent people, and we are in position to go ahead with this both problems. We need to fight economic war at the same time. We need to fight Corona war, and I am confident that under the leadership of our Prime Minister, we are definitely going to win these two war. and we can make india a super economic power that is the dream of prime minister of uh, 5 trillion economy and creating 100 lakh crore infrastructure 100% i am confident that we will achieve that goal and india will become a one of the super economic power and we will go ahead